Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video and today we're going to be going over some of the latest news on ACC and um, what's been going on for the week so far in terms of races and stuff like that. So let's get stuck into the video. Now you guys might have seen recently that there was a new update that dropped only yesterday on ACC update 1.9.2 which made a few little changes now i'm not exactly sure what these changes are or what they're going to bring but they did specify certain things not too in depth so we don't exactly know what has changed but i'm going to run through them now so as you can see we're on a new update it's a hot fix um and it says bop fine tuning for monza and laguna seca which was kind of needed tell me what you guys think because we know sro was on wednesday they had Monza, the Ferraris pretty much dominated and um, they've then changed the BOP after the race where the BOP was probably needed before the race. So for a lot of those esports drivers, is that really fair considering, I mean, they nerfed the Mercedes before the, the esports event, but they left the Ferrari and they've nerfed it after. Well, I, I would think they've nerfed it. But it doesn't actually say if it, it actually has been nerfed or not, but judging by the race that we saw on wednesday the ferrari was by far the strongest car around monza um george boothby only dislocated his finger a few few days ago i think and was still able to bring it bring home the car in second place against some of the best drivers in the world so pretty insane great job by george obviously tinko won the race if you guys haven't watched it, it is on the gt world channel um esports event you might want to go and have a look but yes, back to the point um, in terms of the physics, provisional BOP on various tracks for new 2023 cars. Now, I'm not sure what that means. Provisional BOP on various tracks. Does provisional mean made up or, you know, until they get the actual BOP for tracks, they're going to make some BOP up. I'm not too sure what's going what they're going to do. Um, some things i do feel like need to be altered for, because for me i feel like the, the older cars just at the moment are not viable um a lot of people saying yeah but the amg is fast but we have to remember the amg is pretty much a new car as well um because it's been redone so i would like to see everything brought a little bit more into balance but at least they are you know trying to make changes as quick as possible i i do think the change probably should have happened before the actual monza sro race i think it would have been a little bit fairer um correction of graining accumulation on tires now i'm not sure what that means um if there's some sort of glitch where the graining is just happening regardless of what setup you use driving styles or toe angles and stuff like that then yeah i would say that's definitely a problem i've heard a few people say that uh the toe isn't really affecting the tire wear as much as they're saying it is um so I'm not sure if that's what they're trying to correct or, or or not but it'll be interesting to see going forwards definitely a lot of testing to do a lot of um, things to run through to make sure we are optimizing our setups and and our driving and stuff like that um next point is tire model fine tuning again that probably ties into the the correction of the grading and stuff so fine tuning the tire model i wish they went a little bit more in depth in like t f fine tuning in what way what's what's the issue you're trying to resolve or what's the you know what are you actually what point are you trying to actually get to to where you're going to be satisfied um not too sure what they mean by um, fine tuning like what what's the issue um I've, I've, there has actually been quite a few people complaining about the new update now i don't mind the new update in terms of you know from a driving standpoint of view but it, there is quite a lot of people that don't like it um but each to their own the next um, topic is the Nissan GTR 2018 ground collision tweaks and also the Lexus ground collision tweaks. Um, now, I didn't actually know there was a problem with those cars, but what I will say is if you guys tuned into my stream that I did on Tuesday, um, I picked the Bentley and I was having really, really tough time trying to get over the curbs in valencia and the curbs are pretty flat in valencia right and um i actually went back and tried to set up the bentley some more because i was just baffled by how a bentley was struggling over 
pretty much flat curbs, right? And guys, I'm actually going to show you what happened when, because I, literally, I think the Bentley might have the same issue as the Nissan and the Lexus. I'm going to show you guys this clip now and tell me what you think. So guys, this was the clip where I think I was running about 56 on the front ride height. So I was up around two clicks. Then I got to this curb, tried to brake and absolutely just bottomed out completely over what is normally a flat curb. And yeah, it was it was pretty insane because I was like, what 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 is going on? Like this is this is a Bentley. Bentley doesn't struggle over curbs. Considering this curb is like flat in the Lambo, I run 55, I think, on the front. And for the most part, the Bentley being you know so so good over curves for such a long time i was wondering if it's if is it some kind of glitch or some kind of bug but you can just see now as we hit the braking markers the car just starts jumping in the air i was i was shocked because that's pretty much my line into that corner in every single car and that's happened to me in none of the other cars and i've run minimum ride heights in other cars i've ran cars that were way lower and the crazy thing about this is I actually put my dampers all the way down. Everything was literally set to zero, right? Because I was having trouble with the other curb, which is further around the lap, um, just before here. I was having trouble coming off of this curb, um, going into the um, final couple of corners. So I would come off this curb and I was struggling a little bit to get it turned in properly. So that is why I actually went like really soft, as soft as possible. And I wanted to sort of do a test and see how soft I can make it and gradually move it move um move up in stiffness to see what I could get away with and um yeah so just a weird weird situation and maybe that is maybe that is part of the um ground collision that they're talking about maybe that is what was happening with the Lexus and the Nissan as well and perhaps the Bentley might have some of that now I've managed to tweak the Bentley setup and I feel like the minimum amount of ride height the Bentley around Valencia where you feel like it's very curb compliant and has no issues for me it was actually 59 ride height on the front which is a lot higher than what I would normally run I believe the minimum ride height for the Bentley is 54 so that's, that's five clicks up on the front which is which is quite a lot but for me that's what worked and yeah other than that the car was just doing the most over curbs that are literally flat so um yeah some things to think about um but yeah guys if you've got any comments or you've got any news on you know the the so-called hot fix and your your findings out so far let me know in the comment section below other than that guys make sure you join the discord to get involved in the discussions cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace